Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Time for something that's a bit different and a bit fun because we're lucky enough to have Boxu as one of our sponsors over in the Warcraft channel. And that does mean we do have a big old box of tasty Japanese snacks to uh, to get into. So we're going to throw the cameras on and do that. It's going to be fun. If you'd like to get your own as well as a discount, then hit up that description down below. So, hello Matt, here we hello, are. That's me. Got our teas. Yep, or uh, what is it? The organic again, matcha tea? Yeah, and my Very god. Exciting. So this is, it's like green tea, but there's like roasted mm. rice in it. And Ooh. man, it smells really awesome. It actually, honestly, it'd be hard to see this on cam, but it actually looks class as well. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. So here is our challenge today. Uh, I think we can start off with uh, one that I wanted for, uh, for a while. Seaweed tempura. Mm, yes. So let's let's go. What? What are we oh, oh, fantastic! Fantastic! Oh, <sighs> dude! <laughs> oh, dude! This is dangerous. Like, oh my god! I could eat this for years. It's like as if just <laughs> just eating like the fried seaweed by itself but actually tempura seaweed is that's unreasonably good that's insane yeah we're both known to eat like bags of seaweed mm, yeah yeah the uh like the fried dried seaweed snack with like the the chili flavoring and stuff is all absolutely gorgeous wow let me look at that so i don't have the words for it it almost feels to me like there's a salt and vinegar Kind of texture to the tempura, not texture, like feel to the tempura a bit. Yeah, apparently it's a, it's flavored with a native Japanese sudachi citrus, so that's kind of what that what that's like. Okay, we need to go and get that. Yep. Wow. I need that's to good. stop. Yep. Yep. That's good. I need to stop as well. But just after one more. So away that those go. Next, what have we got? We have got uni rice crackers. Oh, no. You're probably a good old dependable workhorse of the snack world. Yeah. Uni, oh, that's uh, uh, the little sea urchin thing, suddenly. Ah, interesting. Am I right? Let's find out. Yeah, sea urchin, yeah. Wow. So, like flavored with sea ur urchin or? Yeah. Turn the crack. Whoa. Damn. I guess that's interesting. Just... Normally, like fishy stuff, I'm not a big fan of, but. As they say, it does not taste that fishy. Yeah, it's a case where it's they whatever extract they'll they'll get all of the umami kind of stuff out of it, but leave the mm. like the actual flavor of uni behind. Because I can't imagine. I don't know if you know what they look like. It's, they they're so strange looking little the little like uh, black ball boys, aren't they? Urchins. They're the wee lads. Well, oh, there's loads of different types of urchins. They're really oh, okay. creepy. Ever watched yeah. time lapse of sea urchins mm. just going mm. about doing urchin business? Not okay. Very creepy. <laughs> nice. Cool stuff. So next up, we have got, we have got, what have we got? We have got Black Sesame, you know what, you can do the names better. Black Sesame Taiko, the Kumamon design? Okay, interesting. All right, let's roll. Ah, interesting. Almond, sesame seed, mixed with Mizuame, which is sugar, sh sugar syrup over heat. It's just sugar and nuts. Here we go, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, that looks class. I'm gonna break them up so we can, uh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta pace sure ourselves through this. Great. Yeah. Mmm. A really tasty version of those sesame crackers you got. Yeah, it's I'll like those, those, um, I think they're, I think they're usually in, like, the Polish aisle, but there's the little, like, sesame and nut, mm. like, bars. It's basically like that. That's, uh, I'm a massive fan of the kind of almond and sesame taste, so this is a problem. Oh, red bean. Mmm. Big danger. First, though, we've got something more experimental. We've got sake candy. Oh, use a sake candy. Oh, that'll be tasty. That'll be good. So, let's go. Very... Oh. Oh. That's... I have been absolutely demolished by this. <laughs> Come on. Let me in. Nice. And the scissors aren't sitting around anywhere because we're stupid. And I'm not Sorry, you, Nikki. Yeah, and I'm not handing you that knife on camera. <laughs> Alright, we're in. Oh, we're in. We're in. Oh. 
Right, oh, sake yes. candy, so oh, let's go. It's good stuff. Oh, yeah. It's like a... Mm. It's basically a pear drop. Sake pear drop? Mm. We got sake. Oh, yeah. We can hit up... Hit up uh... You go to Vineyard and get loads of sake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember destroying it the last time, but... Okay, is there anything? Oh, the red bean is calling to me. Oh, we're... We need to be careful. This uh, this candy contains 0.1% alcohol content, so please consume responsibly. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a, it's actually an exclusive boxy thing as well. Mm. Apparently made by Diamondy exclusively for boxy. Ah, uh, uh, you are good. Hmm. That's good stuff. So as we continue in here, hmm. we've got the problem. These are really, really tasty. Yep. Yeah, so don't I don't want to rush them. Yep. But it's time for the next snack. I mean, you can just cut. <laughs> oh, it's so interesting drinking this tea, and it's like so savory and rice-like. Yeah. It, it feels like, especially with this uh, like yuzu candy, it's like I have the sweet thing in my mouth, and I'm drinking something savory. And that's the reverse of how you do everything else. Your Whoa, tea, so would, your tea would be a bit sweet, and you'd have a cracker or something. What an oddly deep way to think about it. I never thought about it that way. Yep. It's nice. Resets the palette for our Hokkaido Red Bean Donuts. Ooh. You ready to go? Yeah. And actual donuts, not the Pokemon meme donuts. Pokemon meme donuts? Oh, yeah. It was uh, back in the day, four kids, four kids localized onigiri, which are, you know, the rice balls with the seaweed uh, mm. thing. They just called them donuts. Didn't change the visuals. Just had this thing of rice and called it donut. Whoa, that is a legit donut. Yeah. Mm. Mm, red bean. <laughs> How would we describe? So, I mean, you're dealing mm. with right, like donut-like exterior, yeah, very dense, very very dense mm. donut exterior. It's definitely not quite as, not what you would expect from a donut here. I don't think, at least. Certain, yeah, not a Western donut. Yeah. Um, and then red bean paste, mm. which I actually don't even know how to describe red bean paste to people who have not had like. Japanese or you know snacks like, like yeah, that before. It's, I, I love red bean, but I don't mm. really know how to describe it. Yeah, it's it's a dessert sort of flavored bean where it is. They just mash the beans up. They boil them and mash them up into this paste, and it's just it's not like super sweet like you would expect from a regular sort mm. of sugar filled dessert. But it's just a little a little bit dry, a little bit crumbly, but it's just. Whatever way the flavor of the bean with a little bit of sugar works, it's class. Like yeah. That. Oh, man. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. That's really good. It's daunting because... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm. Many snackages to go. Mm. I'm very glad I didn't have breakfast or lunch today. Yeah, no. I actually had to... I was, I was leaving on my... Uh, my roommate Diggy offered me a, a cheese and egg McMuffin on the way out the door. I was like, I would love to, but I can't. <laughs> it's not today. A typical Dicky move. Yep. Oh, whoa. Okay, these are Adam Mame boys have got more oh, interest than I thought. Yeah, we'll be Shall we uh, we'll send by, sir? give that the snap? Yep, sure. Oh, yes. Summer harvested edamame bits baked into the cracker. The senbei is sprinkled with kinako, which is roasted soybean butter, with a deliciously nutty crunch. That soybean powder? Yep. Wow. That is so crunchy. Yeah. That's like super crunchy. Very happy there's another one, but. <laughs> yeah, that's a really. Leave that for a little. That's a really good cracker. The edamame stuff's kind of just in there, it's nice. But that. That kinnacle is wild. That, really yeah. Like, that, it's, maybe it's something in the cracker or something they add to the powder, but like the roasted soybeans, very, very nutty. That and the, um, mm. this, okay, I think the, the coating of that and like the citrus, oh. whatever yeah. that is from these, mm -hmm. pretty high tier. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So what next up, yeah. which, uh, which one are, are these guys? Let's find out. Oh, the back. Oh, I feel like reading this as spoilers. 
This is the Puka Puka Thai, which is the, the chocolate one. Thai or red snapper are associated with New Year's as a symbol of good good fortune. So yeah, that's a that's a chocolate mousse and mochi waver in fish form. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Hello, Mr. Fish. Oh, it's uh. Hello. Taiyaki. Taiyaki. It's yeah. It's a it's a fish ship thing that they have at like festivals and stuff. Ah, and they right. fill it with they fill it with different fillings, but it's shaped like a fish for. So this is like this is a thing. Yeah, this is a thing. Gotcha. This is a thing. Learnings. Okay. Yep. This is going to be fraught with peril. Yep. Fraught with peril. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Oh, this has gone so wrong. It's okay. It's only the keyboard. Yep, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, man. Oh, it's like there's an arrow. <laughs> like an arrow style thing inside this, like... Yeah. I guess it kind of close to, like, some ice cream cones. Yeah. And it's, like, style and texture. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Basically a softer arrow bar inside a uh, wafer. Mm. It's good. Yeah, the wafer like the wafer combined with the um the airy bit of an arrow. Mm, yeah. Just combines so well. It's like really light and you know. Yeah. But, trying to find a word, but Yeah, I'm trying to think like the the taste isn't the taste isn't quite like an arrow. It's a lot more like a really, really soft, creamy mousse. Yeah. It's really, really, uh, really milky sort of taste. That's good. That's good. I'm Damn. a little bit disappointed it's not one of the more traditional fillings, like the red bean, but we're very... Oh, pretty hard red bean. bean. We'll, we'll be all right. Oh, dude, yeah, one of those red beans would be so good. Yeah. Get on it, box soup. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for some of our next things, we've got mochis. Yep. Which of course, mm. you and I are fairly familiar with at this stage. Absolutely. We have got this boy. Oh, that looks like uh, matcha, like green tea powder stuff. Um, we have these. Yep. We have these. Hmm. We also have these. And then, <laughs> now this is the, this is the, oh yes, we've got uh, this or caramel, uh, I believe caramel apple kind of dude. Yes. And then, what are these are white strawberries. It's a white chocolate strawberry. Freeze dried Ooh. white chocolate strawberry. Interesting. So some interesting special tactics mm, went yeah. into the formation of these. This is this is a quality endeavor. So I'm thinking mm. to kick off the, with that guy. The, the Aomori apple caramel yakoi sable. Absolutely. Oh dear. Turns out this can actually be crummy business. Yeah, no, I am I am a dusty boy now. So see the this is the oh, the hardships we're willing to go through for everyone. Like, <laughs> oh, this is this is a challenging time for sure. Okay, yes. basically, oh, well, I'll give you that so you get the middle bit too. Apple caramel cookie. Apple caramel cookie. Yep. What could go wrong? Yeah, nothing could go wrong. It tastes great. Yeah. Thank you, Japan. Yeah, that's a hmm. That's a really interesting flavor of apple. That's mm. not something we'd have here. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, it doesn't taste like um the is it I'm trying to go back to my high school chemistry. Mm. Uh where you know you could synthesize the stuff the, that with like, esters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't taste like that estery apple. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's uh well apparently it's whatever happens from the the apple prefecture of Japan, Aomori. So it is it is <sighs> it must be like a specific yes. Specific type of apple nice. that they very I, much enjoy. I watched an abroad in Japan video in that area of Japan. Nice. They talked about, I think it was that they drink lots of alcohol there and also mm. lots of apples. Which, honestly, yeah. that seems like a pretty great combo. Yeah. You can also do it at once if you make good cider. Oh man. Yeah. So next up, we've got got these lads. Mm -hmm. So let's find these lads. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Nope. Oh, do we have a visitor? <laughs> Almost yeah, out of guess. <laughs> ah, that is the Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs Kinako. Mochi Puffs? Mochi Puffs, yep. Oh, man. Yeah. So you tell me they've got Mochi Puffs? Yeah, so the artisan creator Ijigo Seka transforms mochi into the crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection using a secret proprietary process. 
And this also has the dusting of the Kinako, the roasted soybean pie. Oh, <laughs> this man and his special tactics. Okay. What the hell is that? That's whoa. Weird. That's great. Oh, I wish it's we. It's lighter than air. I wish we had really, really good focus because the. Uh, like, if you look at the inside, see how it glistens? Yeah. Like, glistening on the inside? This is insane. <laughs> How would I describe that? Um, obviously, it's got that kiriko, that like really roasted yeah. nutty flavor. But there's something about the there's something about how that sugar is done. It's actually really gorgeous. Yeah, and the inside there's like so much air. Yeah, it's so light. Yeah. Imagine, imagine a, like a spider web, but it's sugar. I think Whoa. that that's what it kind of <laughs> looks like. Yeah, that's, that's immense. Hmm. Well done, sir. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> now we've also got a pear biscuit. Yes. Okay, that was very surprising. Yeah, I've never quite weird. ate something with that texture. Yeah. I mean that in a good way. Yeah, absolutely. That so that good. that's neat. Ooh. We've got... Oh, Taiko stuff. Yes, stuff. named after the drums. Yep, that is... The Don Don Yaki, which is named after the beating taiko drums heard throughout festivals. Obviously, Don Don, Don Don, Don Don. don. Ah, interesting. Uh, savory senbei that's fried in tonkatsu sauce. Mmm. So this will be a bit different from the sugary sauce so far. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What a nice opening. Okay, here we go. They kind of look a bit like crackling. <laughs> oh, that flavor's so good. Yep, that is really, it's like a really strong tonkatsu flavor. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, they're dangerous. Yeah, they're those dangerous. are super dangerous. Mm. Those are like, um, I mean, if you can go like quavers. Yeah. Or um, like, a, you know, a little bit of that texture, but a bit harder. Uh, and then definitely not a standard Western sauce. No, it's delicious. No, 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 no. There we go. Not shot flavoring. Yeah. Not anymore? Yes, please. Man. Yeah. That's good. Oh, that's really good. Mm. <clears throat> and a bunch of these get around. Like, sometimes you'll get a snack, and you won't feel like there's enough flavoring in the snack. Yeah. Not no. an issue here. Nope. That is real flavorful. Yeah, and it's not the same kind of flavorful as, like, you know, uh, like... It's not the same kind of heavy flavoring as you get in a Watsit that has too much cheese dust on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or anything like that. Or, like, you know, the, the when you get a ridge cut crisp and it's, like, super, super covered? It's not, like, that overpowering. It's just there's a lot of there's a lot of flavor. Yeah, it's, like, the, the dust thing is actually uniform. Yeah. So, this. Oh, that's the, ma the chocolate is. matcha stick kick? Matcha yeah. chocolate stick kick, yep. Ah, apparently it's from... Uji in Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha. Good stuff. I mean, how do, how do we ah. how do we liberate you? Ah, bittersweet chocolate, nice. No, I believe so. Here we go. Yep. Looks... We uh, may have to split this one up. Um, okay. Okay, so let's turn into this. Yeah. Oh man, that's like, hmm. Match in cakes, really nice. I've never had it before. Yeah, it's really, mm. really subtle. Really subtle, sort of. Like, it's the exact opposite of the hyper rich cake you would kind of get yes. from, from places that are like, oh, here's, here's our, you know, a red velvet cake that's pure, like, flavor oh and stuff like that. Yeah. Whereas this is more just, yeah. It tastes a bit like matcha. Yeah, chocolate blends in real nice with it too. Yeah, because it's a very... It's weird, it's not like... It's not like it's a super dark chocolate. It's just a little... It's just not very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Which is interesting. Generally, I like chocolate these days. Mm. It's like um, Blizzard sent us 75% dark chocolate for BlizzCon line. Yeah. And... Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I must try a bit when it's downstairs. That's if I have any room left. Yeah, I thought I'll have any. Um... Ooh. 
like exploring more of uh darker chocolates and stuff has been really it's like that and then there's like an asian supermarket really close to us mm -hmm. so like having more of that exposure to not i guess just like not completely overpoweringly sweet all the time things is really good yeah it's a case where like as far as as far as common chocolate goes you've got like dairy milk stuff here which is it's good but it's very milky very creamy very sweet and like the darkness you'll get on the shelf here usually is like either higher quality with like the lint stuff or mm. um the other one green and blacks yeah or you'll get you know something like a bundle and then the u.s they seemingly don't make good chocolate so it's all just yeah i think it comes down to there's some chemical process mm. that um i think it's actually one of the chemicals that gives like vomit it's smell but that's actually used yeah. and and that's why a bunch of people from the uk will have hershey's chocolate yeah. and think oh my god this tastes like sick <laughs> whereas yeah. uh yeah for americans it's not like that because it's mm. you know they grew up in hershey's so that's what they're used yeah. to um pick your fighter we've got mochis interesting we also have mochis that are um dusted maybe yep. flavored sugar is going on here yeah i'm going to i'm going to cheat and see which way is which because that green is looking very tempting but also, if that's vanilla. Oh no, it's just color. Never mind. All just right. Color, not favorite. Let's roll. Yeah. Like this. This is the Mochan Dango Mochi. Ah, oh, Hanami Dango. Very nice. Sounds fine. Yeah. Would you describe mochi to people who don't know mochi? Hmm. It is very difficult to describe because it's like the oh, texture. Nice. I mean. For what it actually is, it basically is just rice they've mashed into a pulp. Oh, they've beaten that rice to pieces. Like. Yeah, they've beaten it and yeah. folded it and beaten it and folded it. It's just like this big mess of rice and rice, water, and sugar. So it's got this like, at first, probably, like based on most Western tastes, probably a bit undesirable, the texture of it. Because a little yeah. bit chewy, but it's like once you, once you kind of get over the little bit of like the odd chewiness to it, it's just... It's it's so naturally flavored with a little bit yeah. of sugar. It's class. Yeah, especially when you get those mochis that are it's like they're subtly flavored. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they, they it's like they just have time to linger in your palate. Yeah. Yeah. Although this does seem like this is definitely better than anything I've gotten out of uh any supermarkets around here, that's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. I think the benefit of uh, things coming from Japan instead of, uh, I don't know, being a part of the big supermarket ecosystem. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have got the Pear Fromage Biscuit. Yes, the incredibly Japanese named 20th century Pear Long de Chat. Ah. Which is... Hang on. Interesting. Okay. It's a luxurious blend of 20th century Asian pear, Niji Seki Naki. Uh, rich cheese and white chocolate. Take your and we just you know we break this over the yeah. keyboard as is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. As is practice. Okay. Yep. Chin chin. <laughs> yeah, tasty cracker. I'm not used to uh, like a pear filling. Yeah, that's. Yeah, the pear is really very subtle. Yeah, it's quite like a, it's like a rich creaminess with a subtlety of pear mm -hmm. in the filling. Very interesting. Ah, yes, yeah, goes well with this. Kind of sad I'm almost out of tea. Yeah, no, same. And we, we've got our two teas. I, mm. I am definitely going to go to the supermarket and um, see what I can do in green tea. Mm. Oh, they've got like, the matcha powder and stuff as well. Like, yeah, no. Really good green tea. Okay. Tasty. Right. As we survey our kingdom of snacks. Yeah, all the damage. We're almost up. We're oh, almost. Oh, dear. Almost there. That's but, I mean, soon. we're not because <laughs> oh, yeah. we've had little, we've had like, you know, little, mm -hmm. uh, little tastings. Uh, mm -hmm. So once we're done with recording, I think. Time to give Jess some snacks. Yes, absolutely. Because um, on brand with today, she is having ramen for uh, for lunch. Nice, nice. Good so job. we have got these. Nice. Those are these. 
Oh, the stick potatoes. <laughs> stick potatoes. <laughs> stick potatoes. Super, super mutual plum. So it's, ah, yeah, it's uh, umeboshi, which is pickled plum, plum blossoms, and shiso, which is perilla leaves, all in a uh, potato stick. Awesome. Bye. <laughs> if you can get them out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I could have done that better. Okay, potatoes stick me. Oh, it's like those. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey. That's interesting. <clears throat> oh, I thought I knew what my favorite was. Mm. Those actually have a, a fries like quality to them. Yeah. Like French fries. Yep. Yeah. They remind me of, um, I can't remember the name of them, but there's a very similar pack of crisps that were around when I was wee. Well, when we were wee. That was, um, they came in a couple of different flavors, but they were like 5, 10p. 15p? I can't remember what they're called. Yeah, like the potato stick format. Yeah. That flavoring is so nice. Yeah. I'm I'm really struggling to really struggling to pick out anything that I would consider plum. But it's you know there is that the pickled like, bit I guess. Yeah, there's a lot. the pickle bit is easy to get, but that's interesting. Yeah, it's like you've got you re you really do get the potato -y bit. Yeah. Like more so than most crisps. You get the you get yes. like the I don't know, earthy tones or whatever. Uh that then contrast really nice like the pickled plum. Yeah, I suppose that's that's something I actually never thought of, how little you taste potato in most crisps. Yeah, I know, right? But, it's crazy. But this is not the case. So I will say the uh Oh man, that's good. Like the plum and plum blossom. And this bright pink packaging certainly doesn't leave you expecting that kind of really earthy. Yeah, it's nice. It, it's like rich and earthy. Yep. Good. I wonder what perilla leaves are. Yeah, I'll find that's, that out. That, <coughs> that's an inspiration for. Hmm. What have we got so, left? I actually believe we're on to. Um, there are like dupes, by the way. So, you know, oh, like these. Nice, nice. Do actually come with another pack. Uh, nice. The mochis. There's actually two packs of that's mochis. So uh, and the Don Don Yaki, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's also two Don Don Yakis, which is very good news because they're very nice. <laughs> Sadly, there is not two of these, but I'm now going to have to work out where these come from because, yep. God, those are so good. Mm. All right, we have got. Uh, I believe this is uh, this is actually a Boxu creation. Yes, it is, the, it is the it is Boxu exclusive made by them. It is the uh, world's first chocolate infused strawberry. So here we have. A freeze-dried strawberry. Yeah. From what we understand, they've done special science to it. Yes, uh, strawberries are harvested, freeze-dried, infused with white chocolate, and cooled for a chocolate with all the flavor of a fresh strawberry. So whoa. So I'm not quite sure what to expect. Yeah, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. So when you think this is a freeze-dried strawberry, you'd think this is really light. That's chocolate. Yeah. They've... <laughs> they've broken thermodynamics or something. <laughs> no, they... Uh, what was the... Wow. Uh, I can't remember. Was it was it an episode of... Uh, there's some TV show, but... Oh um, Im God. Imagine you've got a teleporter mishap, and they accidentally <laughs> teleport chocolate <laughs> inside a strawberry, and they're fused together. Yeah. That's what it is. So this is like if you got a, a freeze-dried strawberry but fully rehydrated it, but instead of using water, mm. you use white chocolate. Yeah. Because when you bite into this, it's like biting into a chocolate. Yeah. But it looks like a freeze-dried strawberry. Yeah. It's a it is it is a fresh strawberry and chocolate at the same time. How have they done this? <laughs> well they freeze-dried and infused it. I can't believe this exists. This is an incredible chocolate. Like it's, it's I guess worth saying, yeah, it's not just this is like neat and weird. Yeah. This is really nice chocolate. I can't believe they've done this. Yeah, it's like if you get a really nice white chocolate bar with like little strawberry bits, it's kind of like that, but significantly better mashed and blended together. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a goddamn strawberry. Yep. That's why. That's why like you can you're not going to see it on camera, but you can see all the seeds on the outside of it. Yeah, like, look, this is a strawberry. This isn't yeah. a strawberry-shaped chocolate. Yeah. I 
don't even have words. I only have one. Good. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. That's really cool. Mm. God damn it, Boxer. You have, make make more make more yeah. strawberries. Oh my god, that was Alright. Yeah. I definitely didn't know what to expect from this. Obviously I'd already seen inside the box, so I was pretty hopeful with what everything would have, but that was This is all significantly more premium yeah. than I would have expected. That was like I can imagine trying a little bit of this over the course of like a week or so and that being an excellent experience yeah yeah um and compared to what we get at like the the snack style of lee foods yeah which is just down the road from our office like mm -hmm. yeah that is miles better mm -hmm. i mean i like what you get in lee foods but... yeah, of course of course but it's not the it's not the kind of you're sitting in a oh it's like the equivalent of a fancy restaurant but with a fancy like confectionist yeah kind of place instead something like that yeah, I can't believe that my my brain got blue screened by a strawberry. <laughs> yeah, none of this honestly. That's wild. That was so good. I'm really sad that I'm about to finish mine because I was that good. Yeah, I feel like there's a <laughs> there's something there's a hole left in, yeah. in uh, the strawberry heart, hmm. and now there's no more strawberries. I just have to get another box of that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll order it with your discount code. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have one more of these. <laughs> I have this is incredible. Yeah, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of Tayaki dust here in front of me. I have to get through. It's like the citrus. Mm. Oh, the citrus! I'm like the citrus cuts through any of the like the yeah. fattiness you could get from a tempura. Mm -hmm. Yep. And you still get you still get the seaweed. Yep. Wow. So if I was to do my. It's really hard to do like top somethings. Oh yeah, because this just has to win something. Yep, I don't yeah. know what it wins. The the strawberries win something mm -hmm, for sure. This also wins something because I have no idea what tastes like that, and yeah. whatever that uh, citrus like flavor it has, mm -hmm. um, I've never tasted that before. And it's really good. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's really hard to choose between everything else. It's also cool. It's yeah, like it's... those sake candies. Really cool. These crazy like. Actually lighter than, not well, actually lighter than air, but may as well be lighter than air, yeah. boys. These are wild. Yeah, it's like there's a oh, couple. they done that? Yeah, there's a couple of things like those and the strawberries come under like exceptional, both to eat, but also as like, whoa, this is, this is actually a cool thing. Yeah. This is, this is an experience sort of a thing. Everything else is like, it's, they've designed this really well to not overlap anything. That's for sure. Because there's very few things yeah. that taste the same or fill the same niche. Yeah, wow. Okay, um, if you want to have a big box of tasty Japanese fun, the link is down below. Um, so, yeah, you know, their channel sponsor. I, this was technically, this is a sponsored video too. Yes, um, it is. Yes. Along with the lore video we posted um, over on the Warcraft channel. Mm. So, awesome. Okay, let's um, let's keep on working with Boxer. This, this is fun to do. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Uh, it's a good thing we, we went on a eight and a half kilometer walk yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, we may have to do similar before <laughs> uh, before stream today. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring the channels and uh, sending us this big old box of tasty food. This was fun. Let's, uh... hey, Boxu, let's uh, do more. Let's renew and do more. This is... Absolutely, yes. Yes, um, please. Yes, please. Yes, I'm glad we did that walk yesterday, that eight and a half K. Let's, uh... yeah. Let's get more of that going yeah, in your we boxy have, room. We've got a couple hours till stream. So a couple hours till stream. We need to get it going. Cool. All right. Thank you for watching. You can get your boxu down below. And with that said, Matt and I will see you next time.